Domain expansion. Boy, if you don't get- Welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Dalton, aka The Sly Senpai. And in this video, I'm just gonna be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 186, where I can really tell that Gege is just as excited for Hunter x Hunter to come back as we are as fans. Because why is Hikari giving us extreme Hisika vibes? But other than that, we'll just go ahead and dive right into the video. So we start off this chapter exactly where the last chapter ended off at, with basically Hikari and Kashimo fighting each other. This fight has been dope to read. It's quite literally just two broken characters going at it. So like, what more could you want? And even more than that, as we keep on getting to see Hikari more and more, I just love his personality. The way that he pulled up to the fight and was like, Panda! You lost some weight, huh? And even during this fight, just kind of seeing him quite literally act like Hisuka during this fight. So, I don't know, I really am appreciating that we're getting a lot more, um, just knowledge on some of these side characters that we have, you know what I mean? But we see Hikari punch Kashimo into a huge trailer, puts a crazy end in it, and then presses him, starts trying to kick him, starts trying to punch him. And Kashimo does end up landing a blow, and he thinks that the special properties of his cursed energy, which is electricity, as we saw what he used against Panda last chapter, um, I'll just put that up on the screen. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had to do that to y'all, but you understand so he's using his um electricity as his special property of his cursed energy and even whenever it does hit hikari hikari's just like ah it feels a little numb it's like not even hurting him so kashimo's a little confused but loves it at the same time he's like ah like my special property isn't affecting hikari you what's your name and you already know that hikari's just like ah my name my name is Hinji Akari, but you can call me Kinchan. And that was literally one of my favorite parts of the chapter, seeing like the music come out the back of him while he says that. It's literally almost what all of us imagine. Or like, I remember that episode of Family Guy when everything that Peter does has um like theme music behind him. And that's literally what his special is right now as he's rolling in his jackpot more or less. So after Hikari says who he is, then Kashimo's like, ah, okay, well my name says Jime Kashimo. And immediately Hikari's like, oh, that's the Kashimo that has 100 points. And he's like, hey, if I win this fight, can I get your 100 points? Kashimo's like, sure, as long as you make sure to tell me everything that you know about Sukuna. And we can talk if you're still alive after this fight. And then we get to the best part of this freaking fight, or the best part of this chapter at least, whenever we see Hikari go full Hisuka mode, whenever Hisuka's fighting Gon, and he goes, the surging cursed energy pulses within me. And while that happens, Kashimo hurries up, runs in, and hits him, and is like, you better not disappoint me because he thinks that he's basically lost his will to fight. But really, Akari was just so excited and living in the moment of all that cursed energy pulsing through his body that he was just enjoying the moment real quick. So right as soon as um, Kashimo hits Akari, Akari turns around and just punches, Anya punches this man way back. So after Hikari punches him, he immediately presses him and they start trading punches, start trading kicks, and we see another awesome fighting sequence again until Kashimo finally says it's accumulated enough, which we obviously know that means that he can use his electric attack again. He uses that electric attack on uh, Hikari and breaks off his arm the same exact way that he broke Panda in half, more or less. But as he does that, Hikari all of a sudden comes in and hits Kashimo in the face and Kashimo's like, what? Like, how is he already over here? And then right after that, Hikari uses the same arm that was broken off and punches Kashimo in the face and knocks him back again. And that's when we get this awesome description of what his actual jackpot really does. So we figure out that Hikari's jackpot is when Hikari hit the jackpot during Restless Gambler, his domain expansion. His prize is that during the round, the four minutes and 11 seconds immediately after hitting the jackpot when the theme song for Pure Love Train, If You Stand Over There plays, infinite cursed energy will flow through him. So then we basically learn that it wasn't necessarily that Hikari knows how to use reverse curse technique, but he quite literally has so much cursed energy flowing through him that during this four minutes and 11 seconds, Hikari is immortal. So that's what I say when it's just two broken characters going at it and fighting, and that's why this chapter was awesome. And you just see like that demon smile on Hikari's face. He looks like such a bro whenever um, Kashimo's like, 
dog, what? Like, how's his arm back? And you just see, like, that face. It's the same one that I have up in the thumbnail. I'll put it up on the screen now. But you just gotta love it, man. Like, Hikari's becoming my favorite character in the series. Not one of, like, him and Toto might be my two favorite characters in the series at this point. So then the chapter basically ends with Hikari going back into his domain expansion, Restless Gambler, because we already learned that he recovered all of his cursed energy, as well as all the burnt out cursed technique. So as long as he continues to hit this jackpot, he quite literally can use his domain expansion as many times as he wants. So now it makes so much more sense earlier why Yuta was basically telling them like, hey, y'all need to get Hikari on your side for the culling games. Cause like that boy right there, he can keep up with Gojo. He can keep up with me whenever he's on a roll. And now we finally understand what he means whenever he's on a roll. It's funny seeing um, Hikari pull up at the beginning or at the end of last chapter. And he was like on fire. Just like how you would think of if you were in the casino. And like you were just like hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. Like you're going to be on fire too. So like Gege is, is in his bag with just writing Hikari, man. Like it's just the ultimate way of like writing a curse technique for like a gambler type of person like casino type of like atmosphere vibe you feel me um the first thought that comes to my mind i even told my brother i just picture crocodile voicing um hikari just because of like crocodile also being in like that that mobster like casino gambler type of background whenever we first saw him in alvasta so nah man like i love hikari i'd love to know what you guys think about this chapter i really felt like it was more fan service than anything but we did learn a little bit more about Hikari, obviously. But yeah, I'm going to keep on bringing Jujutsu Kaisen content to the channel. Let me know if there's any topics you want me to talk about. I've read all of Jujutsu Kaisen and I keep up weekly. So yeah, like I said, leave a like, a comment, subscribe. And other than that, you already know it's the end of the video. So I got to hit him with the peace and happy Memorial Day. That was ugly as hell.